Barlamor has made it into Gilinor, a new continent containing multiple pieces of content like the Hunter Guild and the Perilous Moons, but most importantly, the Colosseum. This new piece of content is a wave-based encounter, just like the Fight Caves and the Inferno. Upon completing the Colosseum, you will receive Dazana's Quiver, a new best-in-slot for ranged. There is, however, one key difference between the Fight Caves, the Inferno, and the Colosseum. The Fight Caves and the Inferno are both safe deaths for Hardcore Ryman, meaning you can die how many ever times you want and you will not lose your status. The Colosseum, however, will lose your status. I need to be prepared. I'm on the right account, right? I am. Yes, I understand. All right, we're in. We're in. A rookie approaches. Uh, modifiers. Your maximum HP is reduced by 10%. You can no longer be boosted. Oh, no, fuck that. Enemies never miss a hit and gain one extra damage. Prayers range by 20% of each damage received. Sure, we're good with that. Chill. These are like the bats of the of the of the Colosseum, I think. Okay. I gotta run away from those. Did he just claw spec me out? He did. Okay. Interesting. I went in fully blind into the Colosseum because I did it on release. There were a lot of deaths and I wasn't getting that far. I think on day one I got to like wave 7 or wave 8. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be uh... <laughs> Fuck. This is gonna be quite dangerous, man. Oh, this is not good. That's, that's actually... Alright. That is brutal. Alright. The last two NPCs. And then we're on to the boss.
Silly mistakes. Alright, I think next time I'll have it, especially if I, uh... If I have a little bit more brews. I didn't have that many brews for mistakes. I think for a first try I should be happy with that, but I think I could have... I could have done more of it. I definitely could have done more of it. Oh! Oh, I can get an Echo Crystal next! Oh, shit! Oh, I have to make the next wave! Oh! Okay, we're gonna claim the crystal! We're gonna claim it! Yeah! Echo Crystal, baby! Oh. Shout out 40! There we go! We avoid attacks! Um... Uh... <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> what did I just get hit for, dude? 120 damage in total. Oh. Feet. Dude, I can't read that shit. Bro, it's white! Why- Why make- Dude, make the auto text white. Make- the aisle cut your mm, off? Make that white? Make the feet red. What do you mean? I cannot read that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that was a misclick, bro. <laughs> I was full HP, by the way. We got it! Let's go! Let's go! Nice! Oh! Explosion, right. Oh! Nice! Alright, I messed up so much in the beginning. But at some point I recovered. I recovered very well and I like... I got into the rhythm of things. But I, I was struggling to get into the rhythm early on. I was really struggling. But like my last like 40% was really clean I think. Collection logs there we go. We got it, baby. We got it. <laughs> All right, now let's do it like another hundred times. Dying for my hot cry, man. Fuck. Went for my buddy. I see. No. No! 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 No, 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 no! It was like, no, it was like 50 it was like 50 HP! No! Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Why did the- why were they able to do that? Hello? That's a bug. That has to be a bug. It should not be doing that. Like, they, I can't flick that. I can't flick that. I literally can't flick that. They were attacking one tick after each other. I literally can't flick that. I literally can't flick that. That is a bug. They're supposed to, alt to alternate. They're supposed to alternate. They weren't alternating. Wait, were <laughs> what the fuck? They were not alternating. What? That is a bug. When two Manticore see you at the same time, this is what is supposed to happen. They will alternate their attacks every five ticks. So what I think what happened in the other clip is that the Manticore saw me one tick apart and therefore were not alternating. I don't think this should be a thing, but... Maybe it is supposed to be like that? I do not know. All in all, it looked very weird. <laughs> oh, 
Not even close. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! 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 No explosion here to kill me, bro. After getting a couple of KC, I started working out a setup that will work for the hardcore. Now, this setup would involve a Venator bow. And there's one issue, I do not own a Venator bow yet, so I thought I was ready for the Colosseum. But, turns out, there is one item I don't have. Now why is the Venator bow so good? You can use it as a one-way switch to kill the Mage Fremenic. Which is a massive deal, because otherwise I would have to bring either multiple switches, or I have to, to use multiple hits to kill the Fremenic. So let's get the bow. Yeah, I can teleport right here. Which is like pretty much next to the entrance, which is amazing. No shard. Alright, second kill back. Pour some of rune and plate legs. Wow. To get the Venator bow, you first need to get five Venator shards from Mospa at a rate of one in a hundred. When you combine these five shards together, you will receive the Venator bow. Here we go, another kill. Oof, not bad, not bad. Five Snapdragon seeds, dude. This this boss has a really good drop table, man. For some Dragon Bolts, interesting. More dragon plate legs. Okay, okay. We take them. Grab me toad flax as well. Damn, these drops are really nice. Collection logs lost. Yes! Completed. Yes! Yes! The first one! The first one! Now let's go! Venator shard number one. Only, what, five to go? Is it six of them or is it five of them? I don't remember. Let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Number two! Holy! Okay! We are shrieking! We're shrieking! Okay! Spirit seed? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It! Not bad. 130? Holy, without any rubies. What a time. <laughs> Damn, not bad. Wait, was that GM time? Is 125 GM time? I'm not sure. Ooh, frozen cash. Surely a shark. Oh, <laughs> what? An ancient icon? Okay. Uh, interesting. Does that appear in the log as well? I would assume it does. Yeah, it does. That's funny. Ah! Wrong! Wrong bling bling, but that's my fourth one, I think, so I can make all the staves now. All the separate um, thingies. So I guess that's something. All the separate scepters. Yo, I just hit 90 mil HP XP. What the hell? That's a lot. We've been to the shot number three. I heard the sound. I heard the sound. But it's a frozen cash. It can still be a Venator shot though. Ah, oh, sad. Ooh, almost 2k essence. Beautiful. Very nice drop. No, my new seats. I thought I had space. Wait. Oh, that's because my room pouch is full. It can't carry anymore. Sad. Not like I use U seeds, but hey, you know, <laughs> I don't use them at all. They just sit in my bank, look pretty. I did it! <laughs> I did it! I did the thing! I did the thing! Woo! And we get rewarded with some essence. <laughs> uh, by the time I learned to skip. Huh? How did I get a zero? I thought that was a chance, but I. Uh... Wait, can I make it a zero? 
Yeah. Number 200, I believe. Number 200. For the 2k essence, I think that puts me at 100k. Pausing. Oh, there it is. 101k. Ancient essence. Very nice. Only 49k to go, and then I can get myself a saturated heart. Whenever I get the imbued heart drop, I guess. Because <laughs> that's not happening yet. No oh, way, it's 1 HP. Bro, kill it. Huh? Bro! <laughs> You're fucking... Oh. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Nice. I forgot to I forgot to raise someone to frog, but it worked out. Spirit seed. 2k essence though, nice. It's a bit close. I was a little bit too close. I think this puts me at 150k. Yes, it does. 150k ancient essence, which means if I get my imbued heart at some point, I have enough essence to uh, saturate it. Bro, what the fuck was that? What is going on with the clue scrolls? What? <laughs> what? Is that a back to that's a back to back card clue? Here we go. No! A hard clue! Shit! I have to drop mine. I forgot. I forgot. No! <laughs> uh so that's so bad. Clicking. Clicking. Click better. Holy fuck. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh. Uh. Bad. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Hello? Because of the cake deal that I mentioned in the last video, I have two days where I start my streams in the morning at 8 a.m. And that's why some of these clips I do some stupid stuff because I am not fully awake yet. But it does allow me to grind out the boss a lot quicker. So that's really nice. There it is. 500 KC. I am now officially dry for the first time at Mospa. I'm dry. That's crazy. Oh! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Literally, 1kc after hitting 300kc. I was complaining that I'm dry. And now we get it! Beautiful! Come on. Oh. Wait. What? I killed it too early. Uh, I've never had that before. Uh, what? I just got a PB without any ruby bolts. So my previous PB was 123. We actually skipped that. No way. Did not expect. Did not expect that. I did not expect that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. One to go. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. It could be any kill now. It could be any kill now. Oh, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got it. Oh my god. I got it. I got it. Oh shit. I'm done. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally done. I completed the bow. I completed the bow just now. 
Oh, it's time, boys. It's time. The Colosseum is waiting. It is time. It's time to gear up the ult. There's no more practice, and I think this weekend is the time. It's time to combine the shards. Let's do it. Combine. I would like to create the Venator Bow. Oh, baby. Look at that. Oh, baby. Let's charge it as well. How many charges can it take? 50k? It can take 50k. Okay. Boom. This should be the gear that I'll be rocking. I do think the Scepter is the play because it means I can just top off my HP at any point during the wave. So I'm going to be like 108 HP. Like... After clearing like, an NPC, like play it ultra safe. I think that'll definitely be the play that if I do mess up something, I'll have plenty of HP to recover from. Good night, I guess. Oops. Yep. Uh. Ha! <laughs> that was a lot of damage as well. Holy fuck. What am I doing? Dying from my hot cry, man. Okay. What am I doing? I had that, like, fully figured out. And then I just do that, dude. Nice. Okay. That was a fairly clean fight. Fairly clean boss fight. Not too bad. I would like to think that's like one of my cleanest skills so far. As much as I've been gaining confidence with the boss, I can definitely not say the same about the waves. I'm very inconsistent with the waves, and whenever I get a bad spawn, I just tend to mess it up a lot. Even if I did somewhat solve the wave, I still had to deal with the reinforcements that will come mid-wave. This was usually very rough, because no matter which side I went, there were always NPCs waiting for me. In this clip, I actually managed to recover from the wave. However, reinforcements is still incoming. This will demonstrate perfectly the struggles that I've been dealing with, for which I will need a solution. Luckily, I didn't have to come up with a method myself. Pecan Bread has actually come up with a method to start every wave of the Colosseum and solve it properly. There are almost no bad spawns and there is a couple of spawns that could be tricky, but even if that happens, I could potentially teleport out if I feel the need to. The method goes as follows. Stand on the start tile whenever you start a new wave. Five ticks after you click continue, you will move towards B or A depending on the spawn. All the NPCs have a natural built-in delay on the start of a wave, so there's no way anything can attack you at the start of the wave. That is why this method works. As you can see here, there's only the ranger attacking me, which leaves me with a lot of freedom. I can just kill off the Fremenix, try to kill off the ranger before the Minotaur spawns, and if it doesn't, then that's fine as well, I just have to hope that the Major will be behind the Minotaur, because that could cause some issues. <gasps> uh. Fine. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Et voila, that is one of the hardest waves solved, just like that. The rest of the wave is pretty much just figuring out where to step out and what to pray. I sure don't have to struggle with that. Okay. Not the cleanest. Definitely not the cleanest. But it was good enough. What?
Okay, I fucked up in the end, but the rest of that was very clean. <laughs> All right. So this will also hit 50 plus, which is what I need. It's one one less max hit. But the difference here is that it gives a lot more defensive stats. Well, a lot more, slightly more. Plus prayer bonus. Uh, and it offers a good ancients uh, bonus. Sheesh. Okay, 10 KC. Those lasers at the end were a little bit sketchy. Let's pre pot. Oh my god! Oh! Yo! I'm getting this thing! The tunnel, tunnel zig dicks thing, whatever, whatever it's called. What the hell? Tunnel. <laughs> oh! Yo! That's massive! Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we're claiming that shit. I am. <laughs> we're not risking that. Bro! Yo, imagine if I get that on the hardcore, bro. That would be so insane. Here we go. Oh, baby. We got it. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Should we continue? No, we're not continuing. Fuck that shit. Really? Bro, this is really bad anyway. This this would have been a reset either way. That's sick. Claim. Give me that loot. Oh. Collection log slot oh. completed. Oh baby. Mm -mm -mm. I wanna try it out. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Okay, right. I thought the second hit was also gonna be lower or something. But okay. 50 max hit for a 60 weapon. It'd be good. That's really cool though. It's getting sold. <laughs> 100 mil. Wait. 100 mil, but we take the 1 mil tax off, so we get 99. Pretty good solid payday, to be honest. Pretty solid. Not bad. Nice! Okay, solid! That was a really good boss. That was a really clean boss. Okay. And then that was 12, 15 stacks of doom. So I only got four stacks of doom during that. Hmm. <laughs> mm. I think I had time there to, to crack my click. I'm pretty sure I did have time there. Pretty sure I had time, which I did. I did correct my click. I think I was fine. And I was high enough HP either way. That was fairly clean. Couple of missteps, one prayer miss. Okay, 12kc. I think that's the fifth one today. It might be time, boys. Prayer is boosted. And let's get to the area. I need to actually run there because I've never been to Varlamore in this account. And I don't have the... Wait, can I? There's probably a fairy wing somewhere in there, but I'll just do this. Yes, let's do it. Woo! Should we go here? I can't use this bank! <laughs> Dude, that's so stupid. It's time. Not a lot of charges. 738? 730? Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna charge it. Fuck it. I think that should be enough, right? Right? How many? I have a lot left here, don't I? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're chilling. Hardcore Iron Man Coliseum! Here we go. Oh. Talk to this guy. Okay, let's go. Wait, what did it say? You're about to enter the Fortis Coliseum. Dying at any point is not considered to be a safe death, meaning you will lose your hardcore status. Apart from between waves, there is no accident within the Coliseum. Let's go. It's time. Here 
Furry guy's out. Wave one furry guy, that's a bit unfortunate. close to that guy, bro. I'm not getting anywhere close to that guy. Holy fuck. So scary. He's so scary. I'm, my primalia is always enabled when he walks towards me, bro. I don't give a shit. This is not great. Uh... So careful. I'm being so careful clicking that guy. Overly careful, but that's good, because one misclick, next to that guy, and you're dead. Or you get team chance at least. You'd be surprised how many times I've misclicked the Jaguar and wronged it with his melee range. So often. Death flick. But I killed it, so it's fine. To run south. If the melee are pathed around, I would have run south. Melee are pathed this way. Because I can't camp the spiller because of solo flare. I mean, I can. Thing is, I can. Thing is, I definitely can. I just wouldn't be very comfortable doing so, I guess, at the moment. Because one little misclick both me into the melee range, which would be bad. set that up right. I did not set that up right. I just realized. I did not go to B. That would have not been... That would have been... Uh, that would have been off take. I would have had to tank the ranger there. Not happening. As of the moment of editing this, I think I was actually fine in this situation. I did however go to the wrong tile. I should have gone to A where they would have properly set up. But because I ran away from B on the correct tick, I'm pretty sure the Ranger would have been on the correct hit. It would have lined up with the second hit of the Manticore there. 
but rather safe than sorry. Take two. A rookie approaches, he says. A rookie. Literally, you know that this rookie is about to kill your boss. Or get killed. But hopefully not. Being really careful right now. Here. <laughs> I don't want to be near that melee, bro. I did not wish to be near that guy. This is why we bring the Blood Scepter. Probably should have topped off a long time ago, actually. Just in case. I hope you Not red flag, we're not picking red flag. Okay, uh, let's see. Myopia 3 or Volatility 2. Probably Volatility 2, yeah. Probably on 9k glory. that in mind. From wave 7 and onward there will be a Minotaur spawning instead of the furry guy. The Minotaur can heal any NPCs within a 6 tile range. On top of that it also has a max hit of 74. Wave 8 coming up. A potentially really dangerous wave. Fucking hell, what? Uh, I could go Quartet here. Not ideal though. Uh, if I get if I get bad spawns, I'll, I might have to tell you here because, especially if I get two melee fremenix, could be bad. I could or I could cash out and get the teleport, I guess. Okay, what is the teleport? Twelve k. Actually, it's twelve. <laughs> That's so annoying. There's no point in claiming in well, for the teleport that is. The thing is, quartet is fine, but man, it can. It can cause a dangerous situation, especially with the explosions I have. Yeah, two melees are deadly. So it's, at the same time, it's like, if I have to tell you after this, it's like, why didn't I just claim it and if, have to bank and shit? <sighs> two melees? Okay.
Could be really good invos, actually. Despite having Quartet, that gives me a little bit of leeway for other uh, invos. Potentially, maybe not even getting Solar Flare. Potentially. Which would be really good for the boss fight. Because that gives me so much space to work with. See so, you though. Know, Quartet is scary though. What we got here? Well, Lethality 3, Myopia. That's pretty good. Go for Lethality 3 here. Hopefully get Myopia next, maybe? Or Solo Flare 1, that'd be alright. Allies again. So I'm not gonna just pray against him. Wave Souls. Explosion. It's not gonna hit me. Uh, instead of stepping out straight south, I go one tile backward. This will mean that the NPC in the back is going to be one tick delayed to usual. Because the Manticore started with a mage attack, I had to make sure the ranger lined up with the second Manticore attack, being the range attack. Being able to choose between delaying the NPC's attack or not delaying the NPC's attack is very crucial to solving these waves. Hopping off one HP, I don't care. I think it would be wise to wait. The home sends back here and then we send. It's going pretty well so far. I'm kind of in the I'm kind of in the zone. I'm, I'm really focused, so that's really good. Top of my HP here. I hope we get three, that's fine. Okay. A little awkward. Actually, this is really good in a way. The idea was, if the Major was on the same tick as the Ranger, I would have frozen this guy and then go here to off-tick them. Even though I would take damage from that, um, that would guarantee an off-tick because he can't see me there. Because I hadn't lured it in fully yet. That was my plan, but I, they were already off-ticked. So I didn't have to do it. But I had a backup strategy for if they were same tick. One more wave after this solve, which I'm assuming is going to go all right. 
Okay. Anything behind that pillar? No. It means I should be fine to just attack that. I should just lure it in. Yeah, the Manticore is not even going to attack me. Um... Okay, one more wave, fuck yeah, and then the boss. No! You're fucking kidding me! How? How are you gonna give me this? On wave 11! I am presented with three terrible choices on a hard Karaiman. Relentless, allowing NPCs to never miss their attacks. Frailty, which puts me at 90 HP and not being able to boost my HP. Or Totemic, which will spawn Totems that will heal NPCs, which will make solving waves a lot more annoying. It's so scary though. It's only one wave, but I can just tell you on a bad spawn. I just hope for a good spawn. It would suck to lose my glory because I don't have any glory yet. Okay. Wait for my defense to go down. So we get a fresh defense boost. Actually, it doesn't matter. I am <laughs> I'm gonna take 100 percent damage. Alright. Don't, don't mess up now. Don't fumble your clicks now. Okay, we should be good. I'm gonna have such easy invos for the boss though. I don't even have Solar Flare. Oh, it's so good. I mean, we still have to pick something, I guess. I know we still have to pick something, but... Uh, let's see here. That ranger is gonna see me once I lure this guy in, so I think I just far cast it. Should not be seen by that guy. So many supplies. <laughs> Ridiculous. I even have two combo weeds too. Make sure I don't get teleported. <laughs> Because my crystal is enabled. This is an easy recline moment to get teleported. How are you not dead? Die! Did I really just do that? 
Mage. Uh, I'm actually gonna brew here. Because if I mess this sequence up, I'm dead. Since I have Relentless on right now. I'm just gonna brew. I have so many brews anyway. Can't mess up this weekend. Cannot mess it up. Okay. <sighs> okay, time for the boss. I've never had this many supplies for the boss. <laughs> never had this many supplies. <sighs> Good. Dude, I have like the freest boss as well, because I don't have any soda flare yet. I could still have to pick it now, but soon not. Okay. No pet. No unique. Relentless 2, I guess. That's alright. Relentless 2. That's only two more damage than it currently is doing, so. That's free. That's free. I have a quartet spawn at the beginning. I have to remind myself of that. Which is a little bit unfortunate because that means I'm going to litter the floor as well because I have the Volatile 3. Oh yeah, I get this cutscene. Forgot about that.
We got it. 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 Let's go. Oh. Let's fucking go. Those lasers were scary at the end. Those lasers were hella scary at the end. Holy. I just fit in, I just fit in there, man. Okay. Let's go. We got splinters. Let's fucking go, bro. We got the splinters. Massive. Yo, big. The big one. The big quiver. <sighs> they called me a rookie when I went in here, man. They called me a fucking rookie. Now I'm a grand champion, I think. Am I actually? 18k, that's not that much. That's not that much glory. That is very little for uh, having a quiver. <sighs> we got it, baby. <laughs> ah, let's see what I am at. Zero deaths, that's crazy. Waves completed 17. Wait, where did I reset? I guess I reset it with five. Right, I teleported out at wave five. Only one reset though, that's pretty good. Oh, glory, let's have a look. Yeah, I don't have the salute. That's, that's, kind of, that's kind of stupid, but oh well. I'm a champion now. A champion. Oh well. We'll, we'll get, we'll have to get the emote once we get, go for the CAs, you know? That's fine. I'm really not rushed to get that. They removed it from the, um, clue scroll, so I'm not too bothered. With the quiver being achieved, my account is entering the next stage. Stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video.